M0 FXV, welcome back to the channel. We have the Quashang TK11 software here, the link and the password, which is QS123456. And we've got the TK11 password as well and software. Now, I, I am getting these radios. They've been sent to me, but they haven't arrived. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to tinker with the software. So let's do the TK11 first. And I'm doing this with you. never used it before ever. And I'm presuming we used just the normal UVK5 uh, sort of Bofeng twin pin cable. So double click English and go more. Run anyway. Yes, um, let's just get my, get right in the middle, next, next, oh, I need to agree, next, uh, can I skip that, no, nope. I'm just going to put an M0FXP, but you can put anything, next, next, and this is the TK11, I don't know if it's different for the TK11-8, but we'll run both and see. So I click my Windows square and we've got TK11 showing here. That's a white square with a blue C. Uh, let's minimize. Oh, wow. This is cool. Not what I was expecting at all. Um, <laughs> so, well, we're straight into channels, name, frequency. So let's just start doing it. We're going to go one, four, five. And as soon as I click that, it opens a window here. This is different. Yeah. Okay. So we want the receive frequency of one, four, five dot six hundred for GB three WR name at the top. GB three WR transmit one, four, five dot zero 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 <clears throat> so it opens up new windows now we want to transmit a ctcss uh, so they're using the words qt encode one encode two and encode type so let's choose ctcss just underneath the frequency then the amount which is 94.8 uh, i'm not sure what decode type means Oh, so it, oh, so we get it on the decode. Sorry, that's just me being dumb. So on the on the decode, that's the receiving CTCSS. So I put null. I'm not using that. And we've got encryption there if you want to use it. And DTMF. Uh, power selections: low, middle, and high. Scan list. And what's this? Medium wave, short wave. Ah, so you can select bandwidth as well. And I can see that if you wanted to do a simplex, you can just click these arrows. Click OK. There's one channel created. It looks like you can do firmware updates within the software. Very good. And we're running version 1.81. Add a password and English mode. OK. I advise you don't press these ones up here because it went, it did freeze a bit. This is where you select your COM port. So you would go right click device manager, just here, device manager. And then select your cable. I presume it's the normal UV5R cable, can't test yet. Uh, general settings here, so I'll double click that, we've got this window open. Device name, welcome, you can change that. Boot screen, battery, voltage, a photograph, uh, password. Then you've got A display, B display. Yeah, you can display the just the, the VFO or different channels, A and B. Keys to program. So, for example, flashlight, uh, Vox, and monitor, and key lock as well. Weather channels, preset here. You can tick that. Match frequency. Okay. General. So time out how long you speak. The beeps, the backlight, which all has got always on, which is good. Always looking for that. Please add it to the UVK5 
Quashang standard model. Just add backlight always on. Be much appreciated. Uh, channel. And then it's sort of when it boots up, I would say main channel A. Channel A volume. Channel B volume. Separate volumes. VFO mode on. And then you can choose if you're going to display. Display frequency, display ID or display name. Call channel. Okay. This is your FM mode. And memory mode. VFO B set. Cool. What's all that? RX frequency range. So it looks like you can change the ranges. It's going up to what on that one there? 1160. You can change the range. Tone and then uploading pictures there as well. Look. Uh, so where would you bring it in? You can write path. Is that bring it in? You have to enable it first. Yeah, when you click path. You, you choose a picture. I don't think I've got any pictures here, have I? Uh, no, it needs to be 128.64. We will do it in a separate video. Okay, back to channels. Scan list that you can create. DTMF presets. Contact. There's the presets there. Okay, that's your DTMF settings by the looks of it. Uh, five tone, not really sure what that does. FM. So I'm wondering if where we put in our, if you look here, VFO, where we put in things like 14 megahertz for, H, for the HF bands. If you look here, look, you've got 1.8, 18 megs. I'm curious to know where you would put, say, for example, 40 meters. Yeah, so again, I'm going to have to have the radio for that. And then from a file point of view, up here. Oh, just lagging a minute, one sec. Click File, Open, Save. Saves it as a .dat file. Okay. And then Read, Write, Com. So I think that's that for the TK11. Let's have a look at the TK11 stroke 8. So we're going to double click that, run, I'm guessing it's going to look the same, and go next, and, uh, agree, I, I, I thought that, I know that the model casing is different with the 8 version, you've got like the, the, like the, uh, the silver on the outside, haven't you, M0FXB, um yeah like that you can see it in the background it's like a silver casing and a bigger battery i think i thought that's all there was if you look here so i think it's going to be the same i'll put them on my facebook page as well finish if i go start i feel like it's the same look just showing the same software again so we've seen the, the tutorial as soon as i get the radio of course i'm going to be doing very in-depth uh, videos uh programming it i'm uh, the bit that i really want to know is how do we add we go back to we've got basic information oh, i've just gone back into channel and it has actually let me put it in there uh look 14.200 um just looking for and let's do another one let's do 7.150 yes let's do 27. Uh, 555 they're all going in can't see mode in this sec section um so they seem to be going in that's the main thing um we've got channels general set power on I'm just looking now and it's quite advanced but then you got the broadcast radio this is the one look so when you're in VFO band set so the, the number two receive frequency and look at that the TX frequency range 
you know, is showing 1.8 to 18 megahertz. And it's, you know, it says TX here, but whether it will do that is another matter. Uh, look uh, down here, TX enable. I'm seeing, yeah, band 28 and stuff. So we will find out soon. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.